Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hypermind Vanilla Season 3 map. This is Episode 1, and that means we've got some initial preparations to do. Are you ready? Let's get started. You heard that correct, ladies and gentlemen. It is the new season, season three of Hypermind Vanilla. And here we are at the start of the spawn town. Let's bring the HUD back up. And this is a little, uh, I don't know, safe house that Jan has set up and I have set up, set myself up back here. Got a little bunk and I've gotten some supplies together. This is what is to my name at the moment. And let's put my helmet back on because the mobs are worse, much worse in 1.9. So right now I'm waiting on getting up to 30 levels for uh, what looks to be a good enchant on that pick. And yes, we are at that stage. There is no XP farm at the moment. So we're doing this, this XP thing slowly but surely, cooking stuff and then fighting mobs and Anyway, it is it is slow going right now. But yes, we are in 1.9, and so it's been a little bit of a challenge to get used to the new mechanics, but we will get there. So a few things of note. You might be wondering what's up with some of these textures. So right here above the door, let's just take a look at that, and we'll see if we can bring up the F3 screen. It says trapdoor. And it looks very different. And that's because we are using the B00100 texture pack. We're going to be using that this season because his texture pack works really well for a medieval themed build. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going for medieval themed. More on that as we progress throughout today and maybe the next week as well. But what we're going to do is uh, the next order of business really is to set up a house. And, uh, you know, I've gone through a lot of the achievements already. You see that I've already gotten diamonds. I've already gotten iron armor and, and all of that stuff. Taking care of the basics. You can see this right here. We've done pretty well on the mining. Okay, 14 diamonds. It's not too, not too shabby. It's not Fortune 3 diamonds or anything, but... It's a good start, and we'll figure out what to use those for. Right now, we're just going to rock the iron armor until we get more diamonds going here. And, and yeah, so um, really the first order of business is for me to build a house. And Lapis has set up a road over that way. So I'm probably going to just span off of that at some point. Build a little house. It's going to be my spawn area house and we'll get settled in there. But while I am finding the location, I'm going to share with you a little montage of the uh, the initial achievements. Oh, somebody's around here. Let's see. Who's that? It's Benito. And he is... Oh, he's in his house. Okay. And there he goes. See, he's using the B for his banner. Kind of like he was doing bees in modded. And he's caught Larry the Enderman here in a houseboat. Which is really funny. Anyway, let me go get a location for the house. And hopefully you enjoy the little montage. So I'll see you after the break.
right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed that little montage. I would say time lapse, but it's not really a time lapse. Just clipped a bunch of stuff together, sped them up, maybe. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it at this point. I'm just getting rid of some stuff here because I have decided on a spot. Now, it took me a while because I can be a bit indecisive. And, you know, I'm not always quite sure where I should be building. But then I remember, I just have to remember that this is a brand new server, a brand new map. So pretty much anything goes. Let's see what we're going to get. That's a good, good enchant on a shovel. Uh, let's see, what would be the knockback? No. Benito is working on the docks. Let's put this here. And grab that. Only efficiency. Hmm. And what's going to be next on here? Smite 4? That might be good given how, how bad the zombies are. So I might save that one. Let's put that here. Do we have an unbreaking book hanging out? Unbreaking project. That's unbreaking 2. Is there an unbreaking book at Voodoo Beard Shop? there is see I normally don't bring you along for this but this uh, or well I haven't because you know I mentioned this on recent live stream actually this past week uh, that the past couple of servers that I've been on um, in fact all of them all the SMP servers that I've been on I have not shown you the the process of getting started I've kind of just skimmed through it and most of the server had already gotten going by the time I started but this is a little different I'm still trying to get my feet under me so uh, we don't have an unbreaking book it'd be nice to have an unbreaking on that shovel so we did not get lucky there there's nothing nada nada and that's unbreaking two I want unbreaking three it's probably they asking a bit much yeah unbreaking two yeah so we won't be doing that all right so right now i'm gonna i'm just gonna stall for time while the sun goes down our sun comes back up he's not going down yeah. okay, there we go and i got some boots lovely all right so it is daytime again and that means that i can show you oh well i can let you hear something I caught a zombie villager for basket. He's collecting them. So there's a, another librarian, or what will be a librarian in there. So the place that I've decided for my spawn house is going to be right here. This hill overlooking what will eventually become a river. Yep, see we've got uh, sea level right there. And then we've got sea level over there. This is just asking to be continued all the way across and so that's why I did this shovel it's just efficiency four at the moment I would have enjoyed unbreaking on it but we'll take what we can get and I hear a skeleton apparently there's a little spawning area under there and uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this area out, just continue this river all the way around, because it just seems like that should be done. That's all. Uh, that's actually pretty good boots, but we don't need that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I'm just collecting some spruce over here because I find myself in need of a little bit more. We've got... We're using spruce for the main structure on the house. So I ran out, so I'm just grabbing some more. We've got a skeleton close by. In the meantime, I have taken care of the rivers, uh, the river all the way around spawn here, or what we're calling spawn, even though it's not actually the spawn chunks. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But let me tell you, never fear, I have remembered now the new the other new hyper miner that is Brayamick. he is primarily a twitch streamer and you can catch the link to his twitch channel on the hypermind subreddit so feel free to go check that out link is in the description box below 
as well as a link to mcsoapthegreat.com, which I told you about in the season two finale. Feel free to go take a look at the social media links there. And let's see. Here is the river. So I've cut it in all the way from this beach over here. We'll see if if Basket, let's see, I'm, I'm joined by Basket today, right there. And he's been sleeping fairly regularly. We'll see if he does it again. But we've got the river going around here. He may not, he may be AFK again. And if so, well, we'll just have to fight off the mobs. Nope, he's sleeping. We got the 1.9 one bed sleep system in place now. So, so there we go. You can see it's just iterating over all the times. And that way it doesn't mess up the weather or the local difficulty. But there we go. So he has been sleeping a lot since I've been on here getting this thing done. But here's the first part of the house. We've got the first level, and that's all I've had time for for this episode because of trying to get back up to speed with all my materials and all that with the map reset. It's kind of difficult. So you've got to spend some time mining, and and we don't have the best tools uh, on online yet. So I still got the iron axe. It'd be nice if I had a diamond axe. And yeah, anyway. Oh, hey, zombie. But this is the medieval house, it's our medieval themed house that I'm going for. This is the first floor. Again, spruce logs as the structure. Dark oak wood right there using some glass panes. Just inset a little bit within the same block, provide a little bit more visual interest. And then we've got some spruce fence or is that fences? Yeah, spruce fences, bring in a little bit of detail. Again, just to break up the monotony of the blocks. So just just provide the eye something to latch onto that's more than just a solid texture like that. So, so yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think of using the BOO texture pack and also the medieval theme for this season. We're bringing that over from the modded series because the modded series is, well, the server is waning in interest or everybody is waning in interest over there. So I'm finishing up a few projects. So you can catch those, but... Uh, but overall, I'm not being joined by as many people over there as I used to have been doing. So, um, so some people have moved on from that. Let me make sure I've got a series of notes here of things that I wanted to cover. Make sure I got it in before we finish the episode. Uh, let's see. If you've got some suggestions on banners, you can see as we go around, you can see people getting their own banners going. Remember Benito, he's got one on his, and I don't know if Hector's got one going either. But there's Benito's. Hector doesn't have one. Nimson's got one. I don't know who else. So we've got some here and there, but I think the idea is for everybody to get their own banner. So if you've got a suggestion for one for soap or for family-friendly or something like that, feel free to tweet that at me. Love to see it. If it includes a creeper head, we won't be able to use it because those are very difficult to get. Although that might be interesting. But uh, no promises there. Anyway, that notwithstanding, this is going to be it for this episode. It's all I've had time for. We got the first floor done. We'll get the second floor and roof done next time. And we will get started on a project over in the spawn chunks. Big project. Pretty excited about it. Everybody else in Hypermind is excited about it too. And feel free to hazard a guest down, guess down in the description box below. You might be able to, but who knows? Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of time today with me. I know that time is precious and you could be spending it elsewhere. So thank you for sharing it with me and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.